Let's get to your emails and voicemails. The Eggman has left another voicemail. He purposely made it a long rambling voicemail, specifically because he didn't want it played. So, um, you know, this Eggman character is, uh, he's, he's, he's quite an eccentric guy. Eggman, got to keep him short. Keep, keep those he short. didn't want it airing because he was getting a little edgy with it. You can leave us voicemail at 219-2-DAVID-P. Let's go to your emails. On the Chilean fire that caused an explosion of anti-Semitism, for lack of a, uh, a, a, of a pun. I, I try to avoid puns, but it's what it is. I am not a, in the least a fan of the faux nation Israel, but to hold them accountable for the action of this one, in, one individual is just ludicrous. This is a wonderful example of the tribalism that still governs our cultures. Well, uh, yeah, I kind of disagree with the premise there, but uh, you're right, it is, it is absolutely ridiculous. And uh, that Chilean politician who just made that argument is of Palestinian origin. Furthermore, the anti-Semitism is well spread among Catholics in South America. Is it particularly among Catholics, Natan? I didn't know that that was the case. Well, there's mostly Catholics in South America, so there's not too many other people for it to spread amongst. Right. <laughs> you see what I mean? I see, what you're, I see where you're going with that. I see what you did there. On Newt and his ex-wives, greed doesn't stop at capitalism for Newt Gingrich. I guess so. I guess it comes to women as well. Absolutely. And uh, this would not be an issue in a truly progressive party where what kinds of relationships people wish to have with each other is considered to be strictly a personal matter. It's only an issue because the Republican presidential candidates have to pretend to hold the firm belief that sex is legitimate only while married and that marriage can only be between one man and one woman. Well, the thing is, it's the Republicans who are trying to say this isn't relevant, right? I mean, that's what we saw in South Carolina. I, I disagree with this email. Republicans are the ones who are saying, we don't care about Newt, and nobody should care unless it's Bill Clinton, then we care, or right, unless it's, right. uh, you know, Anthony Weiner with his penis tweets. Uh, whatever's in your best interest at the time. Exactly. And what goes around comes around. She was a mistress to him when he was married. They are all as bad as each other. Then they lecture us that we are unfit. Yeah, I mean, we've said it a million times. Newt Gingrich is the last guy to be talking about the sanctity of marriage and, and gay people shouldn't marry when, I mean, look at what he's got going. Absolutely. And you know what? Fine for him, but just don't impose your morality on other people when you can't even do, keep it together in the eyes of uh, the evangelical yeah. base that you claim to be represented don't, by. Don't run on it. No, certainly not. And on Rick Santorum's wife saying she is upset that gay people vilify her husband. Well, they vilify him because he's the villain. That was one comment on that. And honestly, I'm not convinced that Santorum wouldn't kill a gay person. I mean, yeah, when I look at Romney, I see dollar signs in his eyes. But when I look at Rick Santorum, I see concentration camps in his. Very harsh email about Rick Santorum. P pretty harsh, yeah. You love it, though. I love it. Oh, absolutely. Now, now, it's hard being a rich, white, straight Christian in this country. They are a very disadvantaged group. Well, some would have you think so. I mean, between the war on Christmas and the war on marriage... And, the and war Mitt on, Romney being unemployed. And Mitt Romney, the guy can't even get a job. He, the guy's relegated to doing part-time speaking gigs. He only made 360000 last year. Poor, he can't even get a job. It's unbelievable. And you know what? Man. He's not even entitled to pay uh, what, it, what suits him in taxes. He only has to pay 15%. Poor guy, because he, he, he only makes money off of capital gains. We'll see you on the bonus show. Thanks for watching. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.